I'm Dr. Rodolfo Savica. I'm a neurologist at the Mayo Clinic, Department of Neurology, uh, and I'm presenting the results of a study that is, gonna, is going to be published in Mayo Clinic Proceedings in January 2012. The title of this, of this study is uh, Deep Brain Stimulation in Tourette Syndrome. In our study, we are reporting the results of three patients that underwent deep brain simulation uh, for Tourette syndrome. These three patients were patients with severe Tourette syndrome, refractory to the conventional treatment. Therefore, we electively, mm, uh, we electively select them to underwent to bilateral thalamic stimulation with deep brain stimulation implantation. The results of the study were really encouraging. These three people had an excellent outcome of the severity of their tics. And this study uh, relates in the clinical practice because suggests that people with uh, uh, severe Tourette syndrome that is refractory to the conventional medication may have some benefit uh, if they are eligible to deep brain stimulation. Therefore, we can provide uh, a new possible strategy to the treatment of people with Tourette syndrome that is refractory to the medication. This study relates to the patient to the fact that people with Tourette syndrome may find in deep brain stimulation a possible strategy whenever the symptoms of Tourette syndrome, of Tourette syndrome are not responding to the medication, and whenever the tics are enough severe to cause social and personal disability. The next step of our research will be to further investigate the role of DPS as a possible strategy for movement disorders, including Tourette syndrome. Uh, in Tourette syndrome, what we need will be to eventually start a multi-center trials and to find better targets that can help in uh, providing better care to the patient with a better safety. The next step of our research will be to uh, better uh, investigate the role of uh, deep brain stimulation. Mm. We're going to search for better targets that can be more specific for the syndrome itself and uh, we, we need to compare different targets of the deep, brain, the deep brain stimulation to see which one is the more effective in treating the syndromes. Moreover, we need also to eventually perform a cl a clinic, uh, several clinical trials, in, in a, maybe involving more than one center, to better identify the role of deep brain stimulation in the management of people with Tourette syndrome. Bilateral thalamic deep brain stimulation seems to be effective in the treatment of uh, um, refractory and severe Tourette syndrome. We hope you benefited from this presentation based on the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you're interested in more information about Mayo Clinic Proceedings, visit our website at www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you will find additional videos on our YouTube channel, and you can follow us on Twitter. For more information on healthcare at Mayo Clinic, please visit www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.